At the state capitol, some advocates and lawmakers continue a years-long push now for New York to be the second state in the country to lower the legal blood alcohol content. Their goal is to change the legal limit from 0.08 to 0.05, but some, like local bar and restaurant owners, remain skeptical of the potential change. The only state that's lowered its legal BAC to 0.05 is Utah. Here in New York, it's been introduced multiple times during legislative sessions, including last year, but it didn't make it past committee to the floor calendar. A major advocate of the bill is William Aiken, president of Remove Intoxicated Drivers. Aiken points to the results of an evaluation by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration of Utah's law that went into effect in 2018. That was a four-year analysis, um, w which was the first time we had a of a, a period, a good size period to study the results of it. Overall, the evaluation found reductions in crashes and no negative effects to alcohol sales. What 0.05 really, I think this study shows is that it's changing the behavior, which is what we aim to do, because the best way to avoid we want people to think about this before they get behind the wheel. But just as there were in Utah, there are concerns here from business owners still trying to recover from the effects of the pandemic. Having been through the worst three years that you could possibly imagine, um, you know, this would be another gut punch to us. Patrick Noonan, owner of El Loco, points to measures like alcohol to go introduced in the early days of COVID to keep restaurants afloat and now legalized through 2025. He said his bartenders have called Ubers for patrons and do their part to help people get home safely. He understands where proponents of the change are coming from. As a parent, as a liquor license owner, and as a, you know, concerned citizen, I completely understand the conversation. This isn't me saying, hey, look, uh, this person's out of, uh, you know, just out of their mind or, or this, will, this will never fly. But still fears it might not have the same result in New York as it did in Utah. And I'm told legislative sponsors of the bill to lower the legal BAC will come together for a press conference at the state capitol next week. We'll keep you posted on that.